Welcome to Top 5 Explosion, your one-stop show for the top of the top in a video game universe. Nine times out of ten, embracing the idea of a video game based on a film is scary as hell, because it's more than likely going to be the worst thing to ever jump in your eye sockets. In this episode of Top 5, we explore the light and the darkness of movie-based video games. Number 5, Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. I bet you Vin Fast and Furious Diesel never thought he'd look so damn good in a video game, let alone the game be any damn good. To Vin's credit, the game was created in part published by a company Vin Diesel founded, so there is no way in the highest of hells he'd ever let himself look too bad. This first person action bitch takes place before the movie Pitch Black, which also starred Vin the Iron Giant Diesel. So you get a little insight into the ridiculous badass anti-hero night vision having murder machine that is Riddick. Some critics thought the game was better than the preceding film. Damn, talk about doing it right. Number 4, Peter Jackson's King Kong. Pretty sure if this game wasn't so good, fans would have gone literally completely giant ape shit. But it was good and unique. This hairy mammalian adventure allows you to see the world from two very different perspectives, helping keep you on your toes and entertained. Keeping to a cinematic feel, the devs decided against the HUD, because not every gamer needs their damn hand held by math and life bars. You get to play from first person perspective as main human Jack Driscoll and you get third person exploration style as King Kong. The game was hella beautiful for its time with all that hair and exotic environments and shit. People loved it, thus it evaded a really hairy situation. Ha! <laughs> Number three, Disney's Aladdin. This magical, fantastical, Middle Eastern story-based bitch had three different versions by two different developers on ten different gaming platforms. What a slut. But we're only going to talk about the two good ones. Capcom and Virgin Interactive both did stellar jobs on their respective skews of the game. The Aladdin games were super duper colorful, like a confused chameleon threw up a rainbow after binging on a crayon box full of Skittles. The animations were smooth and beauteous, helping nicely bridge between the Disney movie and the interactive world of the game. Disney's Aladdin was fun and funnier than showing an old lady the world by making her fall down an up escalator. Number 2, Spider-Man 2. Swinging, slinging, diving and jumping. As intimate as all those things sound collectively, those are actually the features that help this Spider Guy game blow minds. Being able to take it to the streets while exploring multiple sandboxed areas of New York is where this ton of fun lies. Swing, sling, and f it up. Crime thinks it's invincible because it's got machine guns and crowbars. You arrive to teach crime a lesson by shoving your size 10 spider sock in their evil doing anal cortexes. It actually feels like you're Spider-Man, doing whatever a spider can with the sadistic habits of a human psyche. Number 1, GoldenEye 007. Talk about a game that ruined friendships. Talk about a game that set such a high bar that any Bond franchise game ever released after it learned what the bargain bin tasted like only weeks after release. GoldenEye 007 for the N64 was a fawesome game. The single player gave gamers multiple paths to complete the mission while doing Bond-like stuff, but the real beef and replayability came from the multiplayer. Gamers huddled their sweaty cracks around their pitifully standard definition television sets squinting and screaming with the best of them. Cool creative weapons and gadgets kept this bastard true to the movie franchise, and even through the blocky ass graphics, this barely anti-alias bastard was as sexy as Sean Connery as Zed and Zardoz. Well, that's it for this episode of Top 5. Are there movie games you think should be on this list? Well, then subscribe up top and comment below. And always remember, with great power comes great potential for corruption.